All right, how do I lower you? Let's get a little bit lower, okay? Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with my March favorites, finally. This took me a little while to get this video filmed and done, but alas, it is finally happening. So, um, I feel like I don't have a ton of favorites, but then I have like a whole pile of stuff, so maybe I do have a lot of favorites, but it's totally random stuff, and a lot of it's based on well, not a lot. There's a little bit, but there's a lot of it based on me sleeping a lot. If you've been watching my Plan With Me videos, you will know what I'm talking about. I've been super tired for probably a good, like, two months. It's been really bad for the last month, and actually the last, like, two weeks it's been really bad. But, um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I have thyroid disease, so I have to get checked once in a while. So I just got a blood test, and I'm waiting to hear back from my lab results, and then, you know, get my meds figured out. So. That being said, I have been loving everything that's either keeping me awake or keeping me asleep. So let's talk about that stuff first, then we'll get to like the more traditional fun things later. One of my favorites for the month are these. This is the Yeti. It's like a, you know, keeps it hot or keeps it cold kind of a drink cooler thing. Um, and it's just like a stainless steel with a little spout. Actually, a fun fact, my friend Kristen from Boston actually gave me this as a gift, which was very, very nice of her when I came to visit her in Boston this past summer. Um, so yeah, I've been using this thing and loving it and I use it every single day and um, I put my tea in it and it's amazing and it just like, it gives me life. It gives me life during the day. So gotta have a little bit of caffeination station happening. Also, speaking of keeping me awake looking, this is the NARS Creamy, or Radiant Creamy Concealer. Sorry. Um, and then this one is the Light 2 Vanilla. Um, I can kind of see it. I have been using this like it's going out of style recently. I put this like under my eyes here and then I like go up a little bit here and then like on my chin. Um, I've had my makeup on for probably about 10, 11 hours, maybe almost 12, um, almost 12 hours now um, because I just got home from work. But um, I have been using and loving this and it has like just like a little doe foot applicator which you can see and I think I need another one of these. I think I hauled this um, not too long ago. Um, and I wasn't sure about this. It's like something I was like wanting to purchase because lots of beauty gurus said that it was amazing and they were not wrong. It comes in a bunch of different shades as well. And um, I'm gonna leave all the links to all the products that I can find down below for you guys too. So um, again, I'm loving this stuff and it is keeping me looking more awake even though I'm sleeping all the time, but I feel really tired, so this makes me feel better. Another fun thing about sleeping and things you might not know about me is I sleep with a sound machine. Yeah, that's right. I sleep with a sound machine. Um, I would probably not exist without this thing. This is from Homedics, and um, I think I got mine at Bad Bath & Beyond. Um, I'm not really sure where I got it, but my go-to sound is Summer Night, and I know that's crazy. It used to be the rain sounds when I first started sleeping with a sound machine, but then I realized I was getting up like two or three times a night just to go to the bathroom because I was like, my brain kept thinking that I had to pee. You know what I'm saying? So the summer night works really great and um, I know it has like really funny like crickets and things like that. Like you feel like you're like in a tent or something, but um, I need a sound machine to sleep. I used to take sleeping pills like a long, long time ago, um, but I don't do that anymore. And um, the only way I could really get off of it was to sleep with the sound machine. So, um, but I love this thing and I would be really lost without it. So thank you, Homedics. This is amazing and I love it. And fun fact, I have backups upon backups of these because one time, back when I lived in the Fargo, um, I only had one of them and it just completely shut off and stopped working. Like it didn't matter, like I put batteries in it, it didn't work and that night sleeping was the worst and I actually went over to Bed Bath & Beyond and got two new ones. Um, so I always have a backup available just in case. And then another fun thing I've actually rediscovered is this sugar... <clears throat> <clears throat> Wow. Okay, and another really fun thing that I rediscovered was the Fresh Brand Sugar Lip Treatment SPF 15. I have a really small little one. Oh, I guess it would probably be helpful if I like put it, you know, 
the way it should be. Um, but I love this stuff and I've actually been using it like right before bed and it really like helps my lips. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like it. It's, it feels good. It feels good. Mm. I don't really ever use, well not ever, but very rarely do I actually use any like lip products besides like clear like chapsticky kind of stuff but I really like this stuff and yeah I understand it has SPF and I'm wearing it at night but it's just really hydrating and I still feel like really hydrated when I wake up in the morning so it doesn't like just all go away which is nice and then speaking of the body I have to talk about this this is the clean and dirty all-natural jasmine deodorant this stuff smells amazing like I know my armpits were on this earlier today but I don't care this stuff smells so freaking good. Um, this is a company, again, my friend Kristen from Boston, she turned me on to this company and she, I don't know if she knows the gal personally, but the gal lives in her area, like in the Massachusetts, Boston area. Um, and she hand makes all of this all natural skincare and it's amazing. I will actually link my video that I did below of all of my clean and dirty stuff that I got. I did like an open box and um, everything has been amazing, but I have to tell you, I've been using and loving this stuff so much. And obviously I use it every single day. I had like Dove deodorant before. And um, after I used this for a little while, I was like, okay, well I'm gonna use my Dove deodorant. And I gotta tell you, like, I didn't like it anymore. Like, I really like this. And you get a whole lot. Like, I've been using this a lot, and I've actually turned the no like, not the nozzle, but like, turned the base of it, like, two or three times. So you get actually quite a bit. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how much this was, but it is really great that it's like all natural as well because I'm putting it on my body every single day. So I'm like absorbing a lot of that stuff. And I'm not big into like supernatural skincare or cosmetics or anything, but this has kind of changed my mind and it smells amazing. And she's got a ton of other scents too. So um, I will link her Etsy shop down below as well as her Instagram and Facebook down below too. Um, it's just a really cool concept and a really neat company. And if I can support small businesses and support other women doing awesome work, then I'm going to. But this, it's awesome. I am not being paid to say any of this. This is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money, but it is so good. And I highly recommend that you check out this brand. There's also great sugar scrubs and body butters and lots of different fun things. So anyway. Check out this brand if you are interested in any like natural skincare because it smells good and it's good for you. All right, and the last thing that I'm like totally in love with this month is two organizational systems. It's actually Erin Condren pouches. I'm like, bah. um, I had posted a little while ago on my Instagram about this one. It's open right now. Um, I put like I personalized this this is supposed to be fitting a planner so this fits the 7x9 planner but what I did was I actually if you can see right here I wrote Erin Condren sticker swag on there and I have all of my this is the one that I have well I actually haven't like I've been so tired um, I haven't actually done this but I want to do like I have two of these pouches now, like in the same exact print and the same exact saying, the Erin Condren Stricker swag, and I want one to be all open stuff and one to be all of my unopened things, so like backups or things for giveaways or whatever. So I just love that it's all like ready in one pouch so I know where to grab it and everything and then I can just grab it when I'm ready to do a plan with me. And then I decided to get this one and unfortunately they just discontinued this print I don't know why it's actually a really nice print um, I wanted something that was also light that looked obviously a little bit different than this um, but still very similar I wanted one for all of my coffee break planner stickers so I got that written there and um, all of my stickers are in there. I had like a little pouch that it was in, but it was like a clear pouch. And I felt like I was always missing it because the problem is, okay, I have this huge like fat stack, all right? I've, I've clearly got problems. But the problem was like it was in a clear pouch and then it would be sitting like this. So I wouldn't ever see what it was. And it just looked like a couple of sheets of stickers on the back side. So I, it, I don't know, I've got problems, but. 
The nice thing is, is uh, there's definitely a ton of room to grow, obviously, because these sticker sheets are a whole lot smaller. But I thought that this would look really nice and just have some more organization in my planning arsenal. And the cool thing is, is I feel like you can kind of just like stand these up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I kind of, I just kind of like that. I think that's I think that's nice. And then it's like, oh, the circles are Coffee Break Planner and the hearts are Erin Condren. And um, if I ever get like ever into another sticker shop that I don't already have like a system or an organizational system for, I might end up just getting more of these pouches because I really like this type of a system. So anyway, that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you guys. Also, like I said, I'm going to link as many products as I can find down below. Just to let you know, the Erin Condren link that will be down below is a referral link. Um, I just like to be upfront with that. So if it's your first time ordering from Erin Condren, you can click on the link below. It'll prompt you to sign up. And then once you sign up, you'll get a couple of emails and one of them will actually be a $10 off coupon code. It'll be very unique with a bunch of letters and numbers typically. And um, if you decide to use that on your first purchase, you'll get the $10 off as well as when your item ships, I will get a $10 referral credit, which is fantastic because you get to save and then I get to save. And that's also how I bring some of my Erin Condren hauls to you guys. And um, I actually just ordered um, some of their new products that just came out this past week and I will be sharing those when they arrive. So hopefully like mid month, I'll have an Erin Condren haul for you guys. And I will be, you know, like reviewing some of the products and stuff for you too. So hopefully that'll be helpful in your journey if you want to actually order any items or, you know, if I think it's a waste of money, I'll tell you that too. It doesn't matter to me. So yeah, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It really means a lot to me. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like these type of videos. Makes me know, or lets me know that you guys wanna see more favorites as months roll along. As well as if you ever have any video suggestions, feel free to post them down below. I do keep a running log of all of the videos that I might be interested in filming in the future for you guys. So um, feel free, any of my videos, you can always just post video suggestions and let me know. So anyway, I'm rambling on. I am gonna let you guys go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.